Oceanside Cultural Arts Foundation itself, as a nonprofit, has been in, in existence for over 25 years. It is the parent organization of Oceanside Music Festival. Another thing that uh, our organization does is give out scholarships because uh, all of the proceeds from the events that we do, they go towards either performing arts or visual arts scholarships for graduating high school students uh, throughout North County, not just in Oceanside. In that you go broke in quiet and peace. In a high house provided by me. We do, however, have this high mission, high uh, cause of uh, promoting arts and culture in Oceanside and its surrounding communities. We're downtown Oceanside on Pierview Way in front of the uh, Oceanside Library. There's so many fine events and there's so much fine music around where people aren't getting to hear it because they're at, it's at the end of a high price ticket stuff or it's cloistered away in an auditorium where some folks don't feel generally welcome or comfortable. So this way we're bringing it to the streets. <laughs> One of the reasons we brought the festival to the street is because we wanted to share it with everybody. We wanted the common people just walking around. They didn't buy a ticket. They didn't decide to dress up and go to a, a venue. They are actually being ambushed by this music. Some people didn't plan on attending. They're still going to be pulled in. And it's a very diverse music show. So I'm almost, I'm almost 22. <laughs> Cause it ain't, it ain't no, it ain't nobody's business what we do. Ain't nobody's business. Antoinette and for those of you who don't know I have been nominated or what they call Grammy considered for a Grammy next year and at the 58th Grammy Awards in five different categories. The harp is just not a classical instrument. It is very diverse and it's very versatile. With the support of the community, who knows what else could happen. I see it continuing to be a community joining event, a community inspiring event, where we're going to allow people to connect the dots and perhaps consider engaging in music more directly.